Some people who had gathered for a celebration at Port Huron ended up helping police find a pair of shooting suspects. Police say two 15-year-olds shot and killed a 19-year-old man in the 1300 block of Lapeer, not far from one of the area's most popular annual events. Sean Lay live with how this all unfolded. Sean? Let's highlight what you just said, Devin. Two 15 years old. And also, we're talking about a big summer festival week right there in Port Huron. It's their boat week. Lots of people in town. There was a parade just starting last night when people heard those shots. They saw those two 15 year olds running away. They helped police track them down. But the big picture is a 15 year old with a gun, a 15 year old helping him with a homicide. My sister lives about a block and a half from here, and I just wanted to know if my nephews were okay. Tina Dietrich's sister lives near where a 19-year-old was shot dead in broad daylight on Lapeer in Port Huron at 6 p.m. yesterday. She says her young nephews are still shaken. News of a brutal murder on the street here made even more disturbing after police in Port Huron arrest the suspected shooter and his accomplice. Both are just 15 years old. I grew up in this area. I grew up here until I was 18, went to Port Huron High, and I just, to hear this happening in the small town that I grew up in is devastating. It happened during Port Huron's Boat Week Parade. Chad McCauley was here. He heard the shots. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. When, when I was 15, I never would have thought, I never would have thought of that. Right. And then nowadays, it's like it's a commonplace occurrence. Port Huron's police chief telling us it's unsettling that two 15-year-olds would be involved in a murder. One is from Detroit. The other 15-year-old with the gun is from this area. The chief points out people here for Boat Week festivities saw the shooting, followed the 15-year-olds, and pointed them out to police. Uh, there were citizens in the area that witnessed this, and they were able to call 911 very quickly. And they were able to stay on the phone. They gave accurate information. And when the officers arrived, they were able to give directions as to where the suspects run. Back here live, we spent some time in Port Huron today. You can tell this has really shaken up that community. Yes, it is a holiday festival, summer festival week, but the thing is, two 15-year-olds are now in juvenile detention. They may be charged as an adult going forward. A 19-year-old who was very well liked in that neighborhood is now dead, all over some sort of confrontation or dispute. And now the chief says he may be dealing with gang activity investigations right there in Port Huron. Back to you. Wow. All right, Sean.